introduction. Firstly, welcome to uh, the Student Rex Conference this year. It's great to see so many of you here. I really, really appreciate the fact that you're taking your role as Student Rex seriously and that you've come in today. The conference theme has actually been decided by the Student Rex and the Student Council from last year, and they asked for it to be around safeguarding. And just to give you a flavour, what we're going to be covering today is how you stay safe, how you keep your friends safe, and how, if there is a problem, you know what to do. And we've done that in lots and lots of different ways, and it will, unwrap, you know, it will unfold as we go through the, the morning. There's a few people I just want to introduce to you. We've got a lot of external speakers, and they will introduce themselves at their slot, all right? But there are quite a few staff around who you may not all know, and I just want to introduce them. So, I'm Barbara Unwin, and I'm the quality coordinator, all right? And I, I'm part of the student rep system and student council. I've got Kathy here, who is the learner voice coordinator. So she and one or two others have really pulled this conference together for you. I've also got some helpers who are hiding behind the screen, and I'd appreciate if they could just come out. <laughs> So I've got, I've got two um, PSTs helping, which are Lucy and Phil. Some of you may know them. They're going to be helping with our breakout sessions. Another person who's helping us is Nikki. And also there's Claire and Sarah, who I think are behind the screens. Um, and they do an awful lot of the administration. So they write to you, they text you, they email you, okay? So these are the girls that are behind the scenes that are doing an awful lot of the work. And then we have one other visitor here today, and she's not really a visitor because she's a governor, and it's Jo Finn. Here's Jo, and Jo has a particular heart for student reps in actual fact. She attends all our conferences. She's very much part of our learner engagement program um, and is a great support to you as student reps. All right, you can always go and talk to Jo about your role and how you would like it to develop, okay? So we're going to start with a little icebreaker, and I'm going to just introduce Paul Norris, who is the head of school here, but who's just going to take you through something that he does as um, outside of college, maybe. <laughs> um, I'm not going to use the mic, just I'm going, to, I'm going to walk around, and I think I've got a loud enough voice. Um, so first of all, can we all hear me? Yeah. yeah. Can you guys hear me over there? Right, okay. Um, it's going to be a little bit of practical element to uh, the next 10 minutes. Okay, so when we get to that stage, I just want to ask you to, you know who you are and you know what you can or cannot do. You know if you've got a bad back or a sore wrist or you've got any joint problems, okay? We will be doing some activities which are called wrist movements, okay? So if you have any ailments, any pains or strains, then please just kind of take part by watching uh, and don't actually do the practical bit, okay? So uh, could you just put your hands up? You don't have to right now because I can walk around, but just so I know who not to pick on. Um, in one, anybody else? Two, three, and great, superb, okay. Um, so my name's Paul Norris, and I'm the head of school here. Um, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about self-defense to start off with. So first of all, I just want a couple of people to kind of jump in here. What does self-defense mean to you? So has anybody here got a little bit of confidence on that over here? What's self-defense to you, Matt? What does it mean to you? Excellent, yeah, so somebody can't mug you, take your cash, take your dinner money, and look after yourself. Anybody else? Or do we all agree that that is a self-defense term, that when somebody attacks you, you have to defend yourself? Yeah? Great, yep. Yeah, standing up for yourself and protecting those that are your loved ones, you know? We see that a lot, don't we? There's lots of fights, we're like, well, why did this happen? Well, they were really rude to my mum, or my friend, or, you know, actually, that evokes a lot more sort of emotion than a personal attack is when it's your loved ones. Okay, so yeah, great one, well done. Anybody else? Somebody from this side? No? You're happy with that? Okay, great. For me, self-defense starts before the attack. Okay? So before when you see somebody, you're aware of a situation. Unfortunately, in real life, that tends not to be the case. Okay, you tend to be attacked when you're unaware, when you don't know what's happening. Okay? So we're just going to have a quick chat about different ways you can make yourself safe before the attack. And then we'll look at a couple of moves. If you're unlucky, somebody grabs hold of you, how to get out of it. Okay? 
So who here likes to go to a club or go to a pub or go catch up mates down the park or do a skate park late at night and you know maybe don't get home on time, you know, and then find themselves walking at home on their own. Okay, most of us? Okay, okay. Uh, which side of the road do you walk on? What side of the road do you walk on? Yeah, whatever you want you want, yeah? So somebody's walking, you swap over, yeah? Okay, great. Anybody else? Yeah? Fantastic. We've got an expert here. Superb. Why would you, why is it potentially dangerous walking on the side of the road where the cars are coming from behind you in this direction? Yeah, so what Rue just said was cars are coming from behind you you can't see what's going on, okay? And also, they can actually open up the car door, the car door then acts as a barricade on the curb, okay? You then can't get past that car door or that car, and you could be abducted or taken quite quickly, okay? And let's be honest, you walk in, you've got your ears in, you chat on your phone, you know, you find them in your own world, you're a little bit cold in winter, that's gonna happen quite quickly, okay? So always, always, honestly, even I do this, always walk so when you can see the cars coming towards you, Okay, and also even parked cars, you want to be able to see the windscreen, okay, because you can see if there's anybody inside the car, if there's a windscreen. If you see the back, you've got the headrests, and you can't actually see if somebody's in there, okay, so please do bear that in mind. If somebody's walking towards you as well, there's no hardship you cross on the road. It's not that you're worried or you're scared, because you've been a bit sensible, you don't know who they are, it could be anybody, okay. Um, okay, great, what about dark alleys, do people go in dark alleys? Everybody does, don't they? It's kind of not only possible to walk down a dark alley, okay? So you're going to put yourself in that risk. It's going to happen. There's no way you're going to be like, oh, my lights are off, I'll go two miles this way. Okay, it's not going to happen. So once you go down there, do, you, do you, it's a good thing to be on your phone. No? Are you sure? Anybody? Yeah. No. Yes? No? What's that? Pardon? No, you've got a phone. Yeah, I know you've got a phone. How expensive are phones today? Really expensive. It's like, hey, look at me, I've got some things to take. You might as well walk around and roll a couple hundred quid going, woo, I'm gonna tap it. Okay? So put your phone away. Don't walk with your phone on. What about earphones? What about the Dr. Ray Beats earphones and the iPod earphones? Again, yeah, the big flashy warning signs to say, come, come and come and steal what I've got. Okay? You need to make yourself kind of just look a little bit normal, keep your cell phone. Also, is it good to walk like this if you walk down the street or walk with confidence? Confidence, always walk with confidence. People will only go after those that they think are an easy victim. Okay? So if you've got your chin held up, oh, you might not be confident, you might be thinking, no, I want to get home. <laughs> you know, okay? But you need to be walking with confidence. Okay? Keep your chest up high, shoulders back, chin up high. When you see somebody coming towards you, if you can't get out of the way, acknowledge them, look at their face, and say hello. I know that sounds strange. <laughs> okay? But just give them a smile as you walk by. Like, hey, how are you doing? Nice to see you. And then carry on walking. Okay? Great. So, um, there's just some very basic, very basic quick safety tips that you can do to keep yourself safe on a night out. If you are a little bit tipsy because you've been drinking too much lemonade, okay, make sure you give somebody you know, a time that you're going to be home. Okay, an ETA, when do you think you're going to be home? Bear in mind, if it's half hour, make it 45 minutes because you're going to be hitting the bushes. Okay? So, People will know when you're at home. Last night, we had an open event here, and a work colleague, she's very poorly, she's got pneumonia. Um, you know, she's twice my age, but however, I was like, let me know when you get home, when you go home safe. Because I know she gets out of the sticks in the middle of nowhere. So she texts and says, hey, child, I'm home, it's all good. Okay, so it doesn't change as you get older, you still need to look after each other and yourself. Okay? Great, can we all stand up? Everybody else wants to involved a little bit of pastor. <laughs> If you could just clutch your chairs under your tables, please. <laughs> can you all get to a space where you can see Brew, my beautiful assistant, and myself, please? So make sure you can see us two. So just move yourselves around. Now, the important thing with self-defence is you don't keep your shoes off, there's no bowing or any of that, because in reality it doesn't happen when you socks and shoes off. And also you notice there's tables and chairs, there's loads of hassles around. 
So our helping sector was at Andrew Funeral right now. I was panicking, thinking, oh my god, there's a crap going on, there's tables, there's chairs, there's bags, there's cables. So just bear in mind the safety hazards around you, okay? But ultimately, you're never going to be attacked with a nice, pretty environment with a nice ground map, okay? It's going to be close, it's going to be other people. So learning your surroundings and your environment, if it's anything you take over today, is the key opportunity here. So me and Rue have got a fair bit of space right now, just because I need you to see what it is that I'm doing, what Rue's doing, okay? So I'm just going to go for a very basic um, wrist grab attack, okay? For somebody to get hold of you, they tend to come from a side, okay, or a back. It's the great rare, so they go, yeah, they're going to go from this, okay? So Rue's just going to hold you, just going to come from that, I'm going to see the motion, okay? So Rue's going to go my wrist. You can be in a shirt, suit, tie, it doesn't really make any difference, the tie's not so good, but, um, Basically, I'm out here, you can see, big strong fella. If I try to pull my wrist away jerking that way, it's not going to work. Okay, it's really good going for Rue. So if I try and do this, I'm a strong guy, I think I'm anywhere. <laughs> it's not going to happen, okay? However, if I use a little bit of logic now, I've got to calm myself down and think, oh, it's okay, I'm not going to be killed, I'm not going to be mugged, and have my phone. Um, it's got to thumb the finger. This is your weak point, okay? So just here, everybody, this is the weak area. That's the area we're looking for. If Rue gets really, really tight again, switch the side of the I can just flick it out. Run! Okay, and I'm off, okay? So, if Rue grabs again, let's say I'm a wee bit smaller now and he's still got these big hands and actually they cross over. We can now use this, this is what happens to some of the smaller people. Use your other hand, I'm going to put this hand on his hand. So I'm going to be pushing against his joint, against this area here, okay? So this is the area we're going to be pushing here. And at the same time, rather than using arm strength, I'm using my body. I twist away. I'm now free to run and I'm throwing everything at me. Okay? So the group comes in again. Okay? So nice and simply, I'm going to push. Look how easy it is as hard as you can. Look how easy it is. I'm just twisting my body and I'm away. That's what I would like to see you guys do together for now is the wrist grab here. Okay? It doesn't make a difference how you grab anybody. It's always between the finger and the thumb. Okay? Does that make sense? Of course, we'll come down here. If you guys, because you see that, if you could just have a gentle play, okay, just to see you get rid of it and out of this prison.